Hi everyone, it is Carla the Bubble Lush. I have had some requests about um, asking me if I would go into more detail about how I pump at work and I think this is a great idea because when I was pregnant I knew I was going to have to pump at work and I was really scared about really how you go about doing it. What do I put in my pump bag? You know, where do I store my milk? How does this work? So. Hopefully, um, I'm going to make a couple of videos in this series and I'll answer some questions. What I encourage you to do is this one is going to be, what is in my pump bag? And if you have any questions in regards to pumping at work, leave them as a comment below and hopefully I'll get to them in the last video on this series. Okay? It'll be like a Q&A of pumping at work. Alright, so let's go see what is in my pump bag. Okay, so my pump is a Medela Freestyle. It is the hands-free portable pump. I love it. Um, it comes with your basic Medela bag, which is black with a cream interior. It's got a zippered pocket, a Velcro pocket, a small Velcro compartment over here, and then on the outside, it's got a little slit pocket. Um, but the main, you know, interior is just all open. So besides the pump, what I usually have with me at all times is some Lansano breast milk storage bags. This is what the box looks like. They come in 25 and 50. You can get them at Target or just about anywhere else. The bags themselves, they come in a um, smaller, little easy to take with you <laughs> bag to keep them kind of clean. And you just reach in there and pull out a bag. Um, I also bring a permanent marker so that you can write the date and the amount of milk on the top of the bag. So then in the little compartment, I keep um, some breast pads, some Lansano cream, and this is um, Earth Mama Angel Baby Nipple Butter. And then I also make sure I always have deodorant and a mint, just in case. Um, so I also have, this is the part of my pump that goes on my breast. Um, so both of those. I have the, <laughs> I don't know, ice pack, I guess, container. It has a contoured ice pack. I bring four of these five ounce Medela bottles with me and the lids. I also bring one of the hard shields. These are my soft shields that came with the pump. This hard shield I got at the hospital. And I bring a nursing cover because most of the time when I'm pumping at work, I'm pumping in the office. Um, but sometimes I have to do it while I'm out in the field and so I need to cover up. And then I also bring a large Ziploc bag, which um, I wash and reuse. I have a couple of them that I rotate through. So that is all that's in my bag. You know, it's just the pump, the other pump parts, the bottles, and the ice pack with their lids, something to store the milk in, stuff for my nipples, stuff to cover up with, and I guess stuff in case I stink. Awesome. <laughs> Hope that helps, guys. So another question I get a lot is, so what do I expect? What am I to, to expect when I start pumping at work? And how do you pump at work? And um, I guess I'll see what these questions basically mean is they just kind of want to have an idea of what, what it's like to pump at work. Because I know when I was pregnant, I just had no clue how this was all going to work. So first, everyone's work day is different, but mine, um, I leave the house at 6 and I don't get back until like 6.30 p.m. So I'm gone 12 hours. What I usually do is I feed Hannah between 4 and 5, she nurses, and then I pump at like 5, 5.15, somewhere around there, uh, so that I start my work day basically empty, right? So my first pump session is at 9, and then I pump at, you know, lunchtime, and then I pump again at 3. So that way when I'm home, when I, as soon as I get home, um, I am full. You know, it's been three and a half hours since I've pumped, and Hannah's usually hungry for dinner, so I feed her, and then I eat my dinner. So I pump three times at work, and um, this is how I do it. Like I said, I bring four bottles to work, and um, the four lids, I have the pump pieces and this hard thing that I said I would tell you why I use this. Alright, so the first pump session, what I do is everything is clean because uh, I clean it all after my 5 a.m. pump session 
And what I do is I take two bottles, um, attach them to the pump, and I pump with these two, right? I usually do a two minute letdown, and then I, um, see, on my pump there's a timer. So it has a, this is a letdown button right here. So it'll let down for two minutes, and then it'll keep going to the actual pump. And uh, so then once this hits like six to seven minutes, I usually let down again. So now we're at like, you know, eight or nine minutes. And I usually pump for 15 minutes, okay? So when I'm done pumping, or when I'm about done, what I do, let me show you. This is a dual pump, and um, these pump into these, the backs of these things, right here. They pump in. They plug in. So when they're both plugged in, then it's a dual pump. If I take this one out, leave that one in and attach to my breast, that one's still pumping on that breast, and if I plug it in like this, it now becomes a single pump. So now what I do is I have this thing, and um, but it's not, there's no suction behind it. So what I do is I unscrew this, set that down on the on the bathroom sink or wherever I'm pumping, and I put this right in the bottle. And now if there's some milk in here, um, but it's got a nice wide mouth, and then I hand express on one side into here. And when I'm done, done hand expressing for a couple minutes, then what I do is I take this other side that's been pumping that whole time, I take that off, turn my pump off, and then I hand express the other side for a couple minutes, right? So now I've got two bottles of milk. This one was just expressed off of this side, and this one was um, pumped off of this side and hand expressed off both sides. So usually what happens is I have a whole bunch of droplets of milk because when you hand express it kind of sprays everywhere. That's why it's nice to have this bigger mouth. I take this milk and I kind of pour it around so that the, um, the volume of the breast milk, you know, that force, it kind of picks up all the little droplets and brings them down, funnels them down into the bottle. That's just a little tip if you want to hand express. And I encourage you to hand express because it's a good um, skill to know, right? So then what I do is I look and see how much milk I pumped. Uh, usually I pump between three and four ounces combined, uh, which isn't great, but that is enough to feed her. So then I cap this bottle, this is full of milk, and this goes in my ice pack. Okay, so now this bottle is dirty, uh, but it's empty. There's really kind of nothing in it except for little droplets. I put a lid on it as well and put it in there. So now we're at my noon, oh, oh sorry, and then I have this, right? I run water through both of these, both of these, I run some water through, and I rinse this off, and I put all these into my Ziploc bag, okay? So now we're in the lunch pumping. I take these out of the bag and kind of dry them off. They might be a little damp. And um, I use the one dirty bottle and a clean bottle and do the exact same thing. And then I store the milk, usually in this bottle. Rinse everything, put it back in the bag. And then at my last pump of the day, um, I have one kind of dirty bottle and one clean bottle. So I just pump into both of these and then hand express into one of them, combine it, put that back in with a lid, of course, and put that in there. Put all these pump pieces, I usually rinse them. At the, for the last pump session, I usually take everything apart, I disassemble it. Disassemble it. I have this whole bag full of pump pieces in this Ziploc bag. I've got one, two, three full things of milk, and this one is empty but dirty. And um, that's it. That's how I pump. So when I get home, basically, I just have to take care of these three bottles and um, wash all of this. But it makes it contained so I don't have these like wet, milky, gross pump pieces just like hanging out in my bag. So yeah, does that kind of answer your question? Um, keep in mind that, you know, 
anything that is up against an ice pack is good for like, I think it's 10 hours. No, it's even longer than that. I think it's 24 hours it can be up against an ice pack. So that is great. And breast milk can be at room temperature for, um, it's really 10 hours, but they say six hours. So that's why I rinse my pump pieces in between each one, but I don't worry about doing a real thorough clean. I do usually clean it pretty well at noon, and then I clean it at night. So it doesn't really go more than six hours between usages. It's not dirty or anything. So, yeah. I uh, hope that answers your question. If you have any other ones, leave them in the comment section below. Bye, guys.